This is Healy Hamilton, California Academy scientist, evolutionary biologist, and seahorse sleuth. Most days you can find her hot on the trail of these mysterious fish. Signathid fishes include pipefish, pipe horses, sea dragons, and seahorses. So they include some of the most diverse and magical forms of fishes in the sea. They may look different, but they all have a similar fused jaw. They have something else in common, too. All signated fishes have male, some form of male parental care. In most of them, the female will lay eggs along the abdomen of the male, but in seahorses, the reproductive strategy has gone all the way to actual male pregnancy. She'll track these fish anywhere mostly to beautiful places like New Caledonia, a hotspot for seahorses and pipefish. Science expeditions often require teamwork. Good thing she brought along her best crew. Graham is my sort of partner in crime when it comes to finding these fish. We're dive buddies, and he's also an accomplished photographer. This is a Norseman fitting, and the cable goes in there. That's David McGuire who was the boat captain, dive master, and videographer. So it was just the three of us for three weeks sailing and diving every day, and we got along fantastically and figured that's just the perfect size for a really nimble expedition. Being a scientist requires a lot of patience. Sometimes it takes years to find what you're looking for. On the very last day of the expedition, on the morning dive, I was swimming along in this mucky substrate with little tiny plants growing out of the bottom, and out of the corner of my mask, I saw this tiny little movement. I knew right then and there that that was a pygmy pipe horse. So happy! Oh my god! Hey, Sensu Mira! Pipe horse in New Caledonia! This made the entire trip. But being out in the field is just half of the job. For Healy, the lab holds equally exciting wonders. With signathid fishes, it can be very difficult to diagnose them to species level with confidence. However, with DNA sequences, it's pretty clear where the breaks are. In fact, when sequencing the genes of this large seahorse, she found it to be a species that had never been found anywhere near New Caledonia. And it tells us just how little we know about seahorses. We really don't know what their true distributions are. With Healy Hamilton, modern scientist slash PI on the case, the mystery of seahorses and their kin will be unraveled before too long. The team is off to Western Australia next. We don't know exactly what we'll find, but we know it's going to be an adventure. <laughs>